Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm does this. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a trainer that Humo and Pokemon did a collaboration on, and I'm also going to be opening a Pokemon Center exclusive Silver Tempest Elite Trainer Box. So we're going to put this be a two. Let's get it. All right, guys. So here is the box of the trainer. Humo X Pokemon collaboration. They they've done a, like a collection, a clothing collection on the Pokemon Center website which I'll probably throw up an image here somewhere like here or something or even the whole screen but yeah they've done a collection of bought the trainers which I had to have bought because it's my favourite colour you'll see it in a second when I unbox it but that collection as well I want quite a bit of the collection but bloody hell they're expensive they're bloody expensive but anyway here's the front of the box or the top of the box if my light doesn't block it, there you go, they've got Gengar, Charmander, Pikachu, Skirt, and Bulbasaur. Here's the front of the box with the Puma Pokemon logo that goes all around. Here's the back. And then here's the sizing guide. Alright, let's get this box open guys and see what's inside. So you get some paper. Like proper wrapped in paper. It is a suede trainer, it's the Puma suede classics I think. The silhouette. The best silhouette in Puma. I was actually looking for a pair of Puma suede classics. But and then they brought this out from Pokemon, which is my favourite colour, you guys probably already know. The baby blue, the teal, the blue on the top, so here we go. There's the back. There's the sole. Oh, this is a beautiful trainer, man. This is a really beautiful trainer. So Puma suede there. You got Squirtle. If you can see it with other laces in the way. You got Squirtle there on the tongue. I believe this is probably laces. Let me just cut it open. Yep, these are extra set of laces. White, so if you want to change the blue laces to the white laces, you can do that. Let me just get the other trainer out and move the box aside. Look, you got a Pokedex. There, raw. That's cool. So I think it's. Yeah, the Gen 1 Pokedex on the paperwork there. So 1 to 51. There you go, I don't know if you can make it sit properly. Hopefully you can. There you go. Here is the left shoe with a Squirtle hang tag. So this one, they did, I believe. All the starters and a Pikachu. So you got the Charmander, the Squirt one, the Bulbasaur, but different um, silhouettes. So this one is the Puma Suede Classic silhouette. The other silhouettes I didn't like. I'll prob I probably would have preferred the Charmander, but because of the silhouettes, I didn't like the silhouettes. So I got Squirtle. Plus, it's my favorite color in the silhouette that I like. So it's perfect. But this is the left trainer. There you go. Oh, the Squirtle Hunter. If I do wear these, which I might not, I might just display them. I probably will wear them, but I'll take off the hang tag and then just hang this tag somewhere like on one of my displays or something. But I wouldn't wear it with the hang tag. But yeah, guys, that is the Puma X Pokemon Suede Classics collaboration trainer. Oh, really beautiful. Man. Probably will just, just display these because these are so nice. There you go. Alright, so let's get into the Pokemon Center exclusive to the Tempest Daily Trainer Box. I'm going to leave the trainers on the screen there just for the sake of display purposes, I guess. But here is the Pokemon Center Silver Tempest Elite Trainer Box. I love this color, man. This just, just the color matches. It's like a Christmas theme. Like, yeah, a snow Christmas theme with the, the baby blue, the navy. And then you've got the snowflake at the back of Vulpix. A lot of Vulpix. Some. I'm guessing those are supposed to be snowflakes in like a leaf kind of pattern, something like that. Anyway, babbling. Alright, let's cut this thing open, but wait, let's get to the back. There you go, we're probably not going to see it. Let me just at least put the words there so you want to read the contents. There you go, leave it for a second, there's a context. I'm going to open everything and show you anything anyway. But, let's crack this thing open. Yeah, so I've done the regular Elite Trainer Box already. And I 
and I've done the triple pack blisters. So if you want to see that, links in the description down below. Here's the player's guide, which again, if you want to see the, you know what? Let's, let's do a quick run through. There you go. So there's the pull arts. Detailed guide and detailed look in the regular trainer box. If you really want to look at that, guys. But this one's gonna be a quick one. There you go. My chase card is that requires a Vmax right there. That's my chase card. I've already pulled one, which is that. Spoiler alert. That's I don't know why I said spoiler but when I spoiled it before I even said it, but there you go, I pulled one already. Alright, so the contents on inside of the box. V Star Marco. Should be 10 packs, hopefully. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. Condition markers. Oh, these and oh my days! Wow, Lugia sleeves. In this one as well, I believe they give you two sleeves, two sets of sleeves, so you get the Lugia one. Oh, that is beautiful. That is really nice. That's a nice set of sleeves. Too bad it's frosted. It's a frosted look, which I don't really like. Here's your dice, I believe these are the same as the ones from the regular Elite Trainer box. There we go. A metallic Lowland Volpix coin, jumbo coin. It's not actually metal, it's plastic. But the metallic is the finish, I believe. Here's your code card. Brick of Energies. Same card deck dividers, I believe. Yep, the same. And here are your alternate roll picks. Card sleeves are these are nice. I think I prefer these over the regular ones. Oh yeah, these are definitely nicer. I prefer these over the regular ones. We've got a snowflake behind roll picks and then the I'm guessing Christmas tree decorations. And as you can see, even the sleeves somehow ended up being off-centered. Don't know how they managed to do that. But yeah, frosted as well. But yeah, that's the contents of the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. Let's get into the packs. Let's get into the packs. Yeah, so as we get into the first pack, um, I have done the Elite Trainer Box, the regular one, and the triple pack blisters. You're probably going to see this video before the triple back blisters because that same day that I started recording V-Star the same day that I started recording those two videos the Elite Trainer Box and the uh, triple back blisters Let's wow go! first pack magic hold that fort guys hold that fort Professor Burnett and Let's go! First pack magic double banger, oh my days, Reggie Drago, V-Star. To be honest, I wasn't expecting to get a V-Star until I opened up a booster box, which probably will come soon guys, not just yet. Can't really afford it, to be honest. But, wow. Full art, Professor Burnett, Trainer Gallery, and a Reggie Drago, V-Star. Sick. Great start for the video already guys. Um and what was I saying? Yeah. Um the same day I recorded the three pack boosters and uh Elite Trainer Box I received this package with the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes and those trainers. But I'm going to upload this video before the Elite Trainer Box Primordial Altar as I got. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna upload this video before the free pack blisters, so you're gonna see that in a different order. I had to get this one out first because I just wanted to show off those trainers. And because as you can see there, I love 
my Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes. Usually good for me. I think, I believe, I'm probably going to say this all the time as well. I believe I'll pull the Secret Rare and all. The Dragon V, nice. So we've got a V and a V star. I believe I'll pull the Secret Rare in every single Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box that I've opened. Or at least in the first video of the Elite Trainer Boxes that I've opened for Pokemon Center. Where I've done the battles and stuff, I think maybe Lost Origin might have been the worst one in terms of Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes that I've opened. I don't remember getting a Secret Rare. Yeah, oh, no! nice! Smeagol Trainer Gallery. I love this artwork. This Smeagol artwork is so nice. And the Forest Seal Stone. The first trainer support item card with a V-Star ability. Kinda cool. With, I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to play the game so I wouldn't know what to do with it. But, something new. So we pulled pretty much every variant of a card. Actually, no, we need a Radiant. Actually, no, we haven't because we need... Well, I guess gold cards are secret rares anyway, so we need a secret rare if I can get this out. And a full art from the main set. And then we would have pulled every variant from this elite trainer box. High, High five! five. Oh, so far, so good. I like it, I like it. As I said, guys, Pokemon Sun Elite trainer boxes are almost always good for me. Maybe you get that one outlier that isn't. And as we get halfway through the late trainer box with 5 packs left guys, if you haven't already, if you're currently enjoying the video and you're new, I'd very much appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. And if you're a current subscriber already, know that I appreciate your support very much, it means a lot to me, thank you. But without further scooby ado, let's get into the rest of the half of the packs. Alright guys, so 5, pa five packs left, 5 packs left. So far so good, I mean, 4. Although, one of them was a double banger. 4 out of the 5 packs were hits. Not too bad to be honest, not too bad. Brandon, Peptilio, Litten, Murkrow, Swablu, Totem, and again, Miss Magius. I mean, in terms of Silver Tempest, <sighs> V-Star Universe and Crown Zenith is right around the corner. As much as I want to go hard for Silver Tempest, I might just not. Might just open like one of each product for now, and then go hard on V Star Universe or Crown Zenith. The thing with Crown Zenith is they're bringing out like multiple different products in different like months or different times of the year, and I think it's a special set, which means it's going to be very very expensive. So I'm thinking. I might just go V-Star Universe instead of my first Japanese set and skip Crown Zenith. Maybe, maybe, just buy singles or open a few Crown Zenith, like one of each product again. And not go for the Master Set, and just try and Master Set V-Star Universe. Because that's definitely going to be a lot cheaper than Master Set in Crown Zenith, because holiday sets, they don't release booster boxes, they only release like special collection boxes, which tend to be expensive. And if we're going off Pokemon Go, the hit ratios in holiday sets or special sets don't tend to be that good, so I don't know yet, I don't know, we will see, we will see when the time comes, but at least a holo. Yeah, so the first half of this box was great, the last half not so much, the last pack, bring the last pack magic. And redemption of this box, but I don't think it needs to because that's not too bad. A full art trainer, a V star, a V, and a normal regular trainer gallery. Not too bad, not too bad. I don't mind that. Nice, there we go. Radiant. So all we needed was, I guess, a secret rare, and it would have been perfect. But Radiant and Kazam, which I already have, and a Malotic. So a small recap guys, a small recap, I mean 10 packs, 
5 hits, you could say half the packs were hits. We got Reggie Dragon V, Smeagol Trainer Gallery, beautiful Trainer Gallery art, Radiant Alakazam, Full Art Professor Burnett Trainer Gallery, and a Reggie Dragon V Star. But yeah, that was the Pimo X Pokemon Collaboration Trainer and the Pokemon Center exclusive Silver Tempest League Trainer Box. If you enjoyed the video, if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.